This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Hey, aloha. How you doing? Gordo the Tech Star here. Well, here we go again. Another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. So please pull up a chair, grab a libation. I think this is our 155th show. Almost Mr. three Lan years. I'm here. Mr. Lanning, I'm sir. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I, I can hardly. I'm here. I'm in a state of shock. I'm, I'm real. It's I'm real. sorry. I've been traveling. Mr. Lanning has it's been so traveling good to be back. Thank and you. presenting um, uh, security matters items around the entire Everywhere. world. Thanks, Rick, for, for the globe, helping actually. out in here while I've been gone. Around the globe. I've but been. you're not yet. Yeah, right. You're here and then you leave on Monday. Well, yeah, but I'll be back. I won't be gone so long. I'm, I'll be I'm, back. You I'm really sorry. You and Arnold, I'll be back. Anyway, it's cool. But anyway, <laughs> so but anyway, it's great. It's great that you're um, um, that you are being recognized for your knowledge base in this area of uh, cybersecurity yeah. and physical security and how yeah. they overlap. There's not too many people that are in this day and age that are very familiar with that. There's a lot to share. You know, I mean, it, it's a interesting. I hit five conferences in a row, right? And so yeah. everyone there, of course, is is sharing and interested in, in, in elevating their knowledge. And, you know, it takes all of us learning all, all the time. And I'm, I'm uh, fortunate to be able to give what I give because I've been given a lot, you know, from others. And so yeah. I'm, I'm taking that knowledge. And you never know what helps one person, right? And so yeah. if we, you know, from my perspective, we, we, we save one life, we, we protect one business, you know, we protect some employees at some business, then we, we've done our job. And that's what yeah. it's about. And, and then, you, yeah, that's you, what you it's all about. You see things that happen with YouTube yesterday. Yeah. And you know, and the stuff that's happening just all over the globe that has to be now—it's the real world. Yeah, you have to be visual, and then you have to be technically secure. We have a lot of work ahead, as opposed to the like you know the DMV who, our city DMV. Yeah, what happened over who there? Who loses sixty-six thousand five hundred plus records because there's no backup in this day and age with cloud. No and all the other things that are happening. Like that's on. their excuse. No backup. We got to get. Yeah. No. The backup. The backup. We should get Todd no, on the here. Back, the backups couldn't work, or they did. They. Oh, the, nobody the disk drives them. got destroyed, or whatever. You know what? Someone needs to do a deeper dive on this. I'd be more than happy to. But you know that you and I both know. Like when you you've got to test your backups, right? You need to test those restorals and yep. make sure they work. I yep. mean, this is a this is normal. This is common. IT maintenance, right? This is not doesn't happen to shouldn't happen to a DMV. Yeah, but anyway, when you've got when you've got cloud, Amazon Web Services, and all these other um, yeah. uh, 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 products and services out there that will do the backups for you. When you're dealing maybe with DMV, we can get somebody. I, I, DMV probably won't talk, but maybe maybe Todd could come in and give us some comments. Yeah, someone will get someone to come in. So anyway, today our today, topic yes. is going Crypto. to be cryptocurrency life cycle yeah. equivalents. So because like, oh, life cool, yeah. so what's I, it like? I, I okay, wanna, I want to talk about you know this will be my fourth show I think on cryptocurrencies and so on. Ah. And so we're going to talk about life cycle equivalents, so like where we are in this cryptocurrency um, phenomenon that's sure. going on in the world right now. And so, um, and we've had some g really interesting guests on and talked about their involvement and everything from master nodes to Bitcoin mining to, mm -hmm. you know, people that invest in it and trying to get I think such. that I think that Hibachi Talk may be the single source of high-level cryptocurrency knowledge uh, well, yeah, in I the state no, of Hawaii. Yeah, and I'm thinking about doing a, well, and it started to work out this way. Is like about once a month I'm doing a cryptocurrency kind of like themed, an update. themed show yeah, we and need so it. on. There's, but, there's so much... A lot of people haven't done their homework on it yet, yeah. so they don't know. And, and, and we're, so my plan today, and I've got a bunch of slides, but we're not going to get through them all. But uh, my plan today is to just kind of give people an understanding where I think we are in the uh, curves okay. of where we are with yeah, cryptocurrencies. Like technology adoption. Oh, the technology adoption and so on. And speaking of awesome. technology adoption, you sent me a great slide. Do you like that? I like it. And guess what? We're going to put it up next. So, um, But well, let me go back up. Let's put the first one up again that we had uh, at the beginning, the title of the show, The Cri Cryptocurrency Life Cycles. So, you know, right here. So, remember ATM machines? Yeah, they, 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 what brought you to Hawaii? That's right. 1979. You're an ATM guy. 1979 was the first ATM machine in Hawaii. That's and, right. and look at what an ATM machine does now as opposed to what it did when yeah. it first got here. Oh, it's a computer. It's a computer, yeah. and we can do all kinds of banking with it and all yeah. kinds of transactions. It knows who I am by whatever. my phone. I you love your it. phone. You can do all kinds of things. I have no money in it, but yeah. I don't know why. What about the Netscape web browser when that started? What did yeah. that do to the internet? I remember specifically when I was developing websites, people said to me, Why do I need a website? This thing ain't going to be around long. <laughs> So okay. now, what, what, what has the, the access to the World Wide Web done in that short period of time? Yeah, well, it's been 
what, 25 years? To, bus to businesses worldwide, communications, transactions, I don't care what it is. Everything. Everything. But why do I need a web page? Digital okay. transformation. I remember that. Then, so then the next one is like mobile why devices. Why do I need a web page? So mobile devices. Here we are now with mobile devices. This is what we've got. By the year 2020, 100% of the world will own one of these. A mobile, not necessarily an iPhone. 100% of the globe yeah. by 2020, that's only a year and a half away, will own and when was a that? mobile device. The device. iPhone's what, 10 years old? But 10 years old. This year was the 10 year anniversary. 10, 10 year anniversary. So look at the pace of adoption. So, so, and think of what's happened with that, the adoption, what it's done to change our lives, whether it be you know, getting email. We don't talk about email done. Well, I don't, healthcare monitoring. Everybody, yeah, I, the thing is, it's, it's, it's like your life. It's your life. Everybody it's, walks around yeah. buried in them all What the about mobile apps? The mobile apps that are now loading up on oh, this yeah. that are free. Yeah. The free 99 app. So these are just. So I'm just trying to think about you know what, what are some have been some of the major ones. And there's just a ton. We're going to show it the next slide. Shows you right now. So if you look at this this oh. slide, and this Holy shows cow. adoption of technology in the U.S. from 1900 to, 20... to 2010. Yeah. And see what 2010. Look at the we've telephone. Got, we've got Bitcoin in here. Look at the telephone in 1900. Yeah. And then all the other different. So it took it 100 years to get the same level of adoption as, where's the iPhone down there? Let's look at the orange yeah. line. So the it, iPhone's at almost 90% so, already. Yeah, so for our viewers, if you're looking more to the right here, look at the adoption of technology and how straight the um, lines are getting Yeah. and how much it gets it, it's happening. This is pretty cool stuff. Mobile's crazy. It's just crazy. Mobile's crazy. Yeah, I, I, didn't, mobile's I didn't know. Mobile's crazy. That's almost like almost total 100% saturation yeah. in, in less than eight years. Okay. And, and, and look then, at Bitcoin. Yeah. And so, so it just started. So, so where are we in this curve? So it says Bitcoin is 2000. That was in 2010, a little bit beyond 2010. Bitcoin came out in 2009. So we're now in 2017 mm -hmm. or 18. It's trading at around, as of today, $6,800 per, okay. per Bitcoin. Um, March was a terrible month if you were if you were uh, in, in playing with the Bitcoin space, um, and there's reasons for that too. Well, unfortunately, we probably don't have time to get into it. That's another show. But um, so we're here in the Bitcoin. So let's go to the next slide, which I kind of like. You know, we see these bell curves on where technology is is, ha is happening. Yeah. So you know, if you look at the um, so let's just use the internet as an example. Okay. Okay. You know, we had innovators back in the early days and then we had early adopters and then we had the early majority that got in then we have the 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 late majority that got into the internet and then it just the laggers those that came at the very end and yes. it was over a period of time so you know in my rough estimation i think bitcoin is somewhere around this spot in the uh, adoption About life 10 percent yeah you know maybe 10 20 percent you know 10 no, yeah 10 percent you think, you know, you think yeah. blockchain's a little higher than bitcoin itself i think blockchain is a little bit higher itself yeah, because so the blockchain too. is starting to get more legs and and and, and in, other, in other space. industry sure but you know again we're i'm trying to give perspectives of where we might be so the next slide we have is a is another you another view at this um um and you know i do my research on this to try to find out okay where do we think where do I think this technology is after 50 years in the business? Where do we think this is? And so it highlighted in yellow, you can see, you can see highlighted in yellow is, the, um, is where I think the spots are now in this, um, the, 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 the curve that we're in. The, initially, the technology triggers when you know, the blockchain was created mm -hmm. and all the related things that were happening to the blockchain. Right. And then, AKA, then Bitcoin gets added to it. I think now we're in this, this stage, and if you look at what's happening with the Bitcoin currency okay. declining in value, and all those things. so we got um, what's happening now. We had it, when the, at the peak of that curve, I'm going to tell you when that date was. When I believe that date was, that was the Monday after Thanksgiving last year. Okay, and and this is why I based it on that. The Monday after Thanksgiving last year, Coinbase, who can't work here in Hawaii because of our great. Yeah, Square, yeah, that's another, squares that's another, down another the end, story. <laughs> um, Coinbase on that Monday, by that Monday, had 300,000 new clients. Because everyone talked about it over Thanksgiving holiday. Exactly. And, and I everybody think, bought in on and, Monday morning. And everybody morning. bought in. And then the fear, the FOMOs, the fear of missing out, started to jump in on it. That's why but at December, Bitcoin was trading at almost $20,000. Yeah, it just went through the roof. It went through in the roof. And so we were, at that, we were at that peak. And now if you look at what's highlighted in yellow, we get negative press beginning. Tons of it. Yeah, there was a couple. Of, there was some thefts and some some Stuff. hacks. Some people and people lost then, their wallet, lost their password. Well, no, no, more than that. You know, Google says they're not going to allow ICOs to advertise. Oh yeah, yeah. Anymore. Yeah. 
Um, uh, Facebook says they're not going to be able to do things with um, initial coin offerings. Mm -hmm. uh, LinkedIn starts to do this. So now you're getting all the... The, 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 uh, the pushback. The pushback. The against negative, technology. The, against the technology. And you've got, uh, you've got um, mm. suppli supplier consolidation. So you're seeing a lot of the consolidation now of those that were in the um, cryptocurrency supplier business, whether they were exchanges, traders, and such. Oh, okay. those the trading and, and is mining entities, is the same thing. Like mining. So you used yeah. to mine one, now you might mine many. Or well, or well, or, yeah. Well, mining is actually becoming a, just a global business. We're going to talk about the mining part okay. in, a, in, a, in a little bit. So I think we're now kind of coming down into this trough. Okay. And it's and it's where and it's where the technology has been. Uh, what I've experienced in my my life, I can tell you right now that. Internet went this way, mobile devices went this way, ATMs went this way. All the things I've seen fell into these kinds of curves for some reason or another. So I think, and, and right now I find it's interesting, about 5% of the U.S. population are involved in Bitcoin. Or cryptocurrency, five percent. And if you look at this, wow, less than 5% of the potential audience has adopted it fully. And we're kind of like, so we're right in this, we're in the blend of this trough that's shown here it's on this funny. graph. That you know, because you remember how you talked about it early on. I remember last year we were talking about how like a, a thing like airline miles is is a sort of the idea or an analogy right. for people of right. what a virtual type of currency is. Right. So it's funny that more people haven't caught on to that. Right. You know, because I thought that was a great analogy. Yeah, and, and so and that, and that's what what's happening. So the next slide I want to show is an interesting one because um, yesterday I was asked by a, a, a group of bankers to come and make a presentation on, on Bitcoin and, and what's happening in this space. Okay. So, and um, I always find it fascinating. When I go to the universities and I, go to the and I, I get a chance to, to talk to the students there as a guest speaker, I always ask how many of you in the room have owned cryptocurrencies? And now it's probably about half. Okay. It's about half of what you know of the students. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go to the bankers and introduce there, and this is not necessarily every banker in the entire state, but you know the bankers, I ask that same question. Not one hand. None. None. You Zero. Think you don't want to admit it? Zero. And I said, if yeah, if you're willing to admit it. Yeah. But they went, no, no, no. They're not. They're just. It's like. It's too weird. It's just they're, it's they've got different. the blinders yeah. on. And well, so, they're a traditionally conservative yeah. group, right? Traditionally conservative. Well, I kind of woke them up with this slide yesterday. This was the one I thought, the new technology life cycle of money. So yeah. if you take a look at the traditional, the left side, traditional old age currencies, right? And you look at um, where we are, again, where I think we are from a Bitcoin perspective. Mm -hmm. So we're here. And if we continue on this cycle, there will be some point when these intersect and cross and cryptocurrencies will have more intrinsic value mm -hmm. than cash Old unless currency. governments shut it down. I don't think that's going to happen. And that's going to be extremely difficult yeah. because there's nothing to stop us. Yeah, how can they shut it down? Well, they, they can think they, you know, with regulation. Well, that's, that's where I start to get a little upset with the Googles of this world. You know, mm. I think, you know, when Google turns around and said we're not going to allow um, advertising about cryptocurrencies. We're not going to do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going in the second half of the show. I'm going to show you a couple of things to say. Is Google going to shut these down? Um, mm. They were invading into a lot of areas. They, they might miss the boat, you know. Well, it's not missing the boat. I think you're you're, you're getting in my amendment rights. There you go. So is it your pleasure? We'll talk about that. that. So anyway, so that was the first half of the show, and I told you we weren't going to get through all of these things that was because fast. It just. It's just super we fast. We just got to the crisscross. We just got to the crisscross. So speaking of crisscross, then we'll do a crisscross and we'll go pay some bills. Angus is coming back because he has something he wants to talk about. Awesome. And then we'll pick up where we left off on this, on the, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin saga. We'll be right back. Saga. We'll be back in a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Ted Rawson here, folks, your host on Where the Drone Leads, our weekly show at noon on Thursdays here on Think Tech, where we talk about drones, anything you to do about drones, drones, remotely piloted aircraft, unmanned air crystals, whatever you want to call them, emerging into Hawaii's economy, educational framework, and our public life. 
We talk about things associated with the use, the misuse, uh, technology, engineering, legislation with the local experts as well as people from across the country. Please join us noon on Thursdays and catch the latest on what's taking place in the world of drones that might affect you. Welcome to Hawaii. This is Prince Dykes, your host of the Prince of Investing, coming to you guys each and every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on Think Tech Hawaii. Don't forget to come by and check out some of the great information on stocks, investing, your money, all the other great stuff, and I'll be your host. See you Tuesday. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Hibachi Talk. Andrew, the security guy here. I got a quick update for you from my travels. A lot of talk about the insider threat and not the malicious kind, the negligent kind, the kind that doesn't pay attention, the kind that doesn't absorb training. Make room in your program for that guy. He's going to need a little extra attention. Angus is here with us. I don't know if he's been absent like me, but he's back today with some crypto for you. Angus, what's up, buddy? Hey, Drew, I've been I've been a wee bit absent. Have you? Yeah, I missed you. you, have, know. you have you got any crypto on you? I, I was I, I, I'm going to be <laughs> Anyway, I'm always traveling around the world, you know. I know, I, you're, you're a, a busy little, guy you're like a busy me. guy like you, you know, lecturing and all those kinds of wee things. But anyway, i got to tell you about a wee exciting event coming up this weekend. Yeah. It's the Hawaii Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Ah. Highland Games, that we would say back home. Ah, there you go. Yeah, we got a wee flyer up here. So, you know, it starts on Friday at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You know, the Scottish celebration. You, you know, do you throw the rock? What do they call that? What's the one? Throw the rock. What the, they call it a game it's the like cleaver. that. It's not throw the rock. Hey, what's it called? <laughs> hey, I'll throw your rocks in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got the festival. You know, this it goes over the whole weekend. And, you know, it's, it's a Saturday, April the 7th at 10 a.m. to 9, 9 p.m. Sunday from uh, the 8th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Is that the McCoy Papillion in uh, Moana? I think McCoy is an Irish name, but we'll still let them go with it come anyway. Down there, there. Come down there and meet Angus. Come on down there. We got and they got entertainment. They got Switchback is going to be playing down there. There's just a whole bunch of things. Scottish dancing. There's maybe a wee bit of beer. Do you think? A wee bit. A wee bit. We'll see. Just a wee bit. Anyway, a lot of the Scottish club will be there. All kinds of great things. All right. So you want to learn about your ancestry because most of the world is from Scotland. There you go. You go to the Scottish festival this yeah, weekend. Yeah, and if you don't know that, 23 or me will tell you the truth. Guaranteed there, lad. And let you say at the end of your segment, let your wing gang free where you be. Hello. Ha. See you this weekend. Nice, Angus. Yeah, come on out for the Scottish Festival. Angus will be there. Maybe he'll buy you a beer. Maybe you can buy him a beer. I don't know. All right, back to crypto, brother. Back What's to crypto. So where did, we leave, where, where did we leave We left off? off at the crisscross. You we were telling the, the bankers. You were scaring the bankers that the crypto the, was going we to become more valuable the bankers. than That's what we were doing. Money. We were doing on that. I want to bring up my... Um, uh, slide deck here and go to the next slide. So, um, and we've done shows on this and that's where I want to kind of um, um, show about the underlying infrastructure that helps to keep this thing growing, okay? okay? And how it works. And I'm yes. not going to go into the detail of it because I've done that on, if you go to, there's two previous shows I've done. One where I talked about Bitcoin itself and how it works. Okay. Through Bitcoin mining. Yes. And then I did another show with Aaron Nakaoka. Okay. Who talked about master nodes. Okay. And how they work within the cryptocurrency mining uh, entity. So let's bring up, and there's over, there's, right, there's over 2,000 digital currencies today. Yeah. And isn't that's that, right. Isn't that something? It's something. That's why I talk about that adoption I get curve. My, we should get an Angus coin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's because they're so cheap, they'd never, they never <laughs> pay for it. Well, I didn't say it'd be worth anything. be quiet down there. Anyway, um, anyway, so look at this. So you've got over 2,000 digital currencies, but there's processes that are, that are done to... Um, um, uh, encourage the growth and use of these currencies. You know, Bitcoin uses a concept called proof of work. It's still mined. Ethereum, another coin that's very popular, um, does that. Um, Ripple is mined. But then you've got Dash, Pepe, and others that are done um, through master nodes. Okay. And we're going to talk a little bit about this. And I don't know, guys, if you were able to get to the point where you could bring up a website that was uh, the one that's at the bottom of that slide that says um, crypto. Um, uh, cryptoport.com. I don't know if you were able to do that and be able to bring that up and show it live. Um, if you can't, if you can't, and, and the viewers are looking at it, go to that website and you'll see um, a lot that's happening in the um, crypto space and the values of what these coins are. Okay. And I'll give you an example of um, 
Bitcoin right now from a market cap standpoint is 128 billion. Wow. One to eight billion. That's be, more than most com countries. It, yes, most countries. Um, my airline miles, it's been around for a long time. What do you think their market cap is? Mm -hmm. uh, billion? Four billion. Four billion. And they've been around for 50 years. Well, for 30 35, years. 30 years, right? So you got Holy 120 cow. some odd billion versus four billion. To give you a sense. That's a 30x. That's, if that's, you couldn't that's, do the math. That's a huge equation. difference. So, anyway, let's talk about um, the Bitcoin transaction life cycle. Okay. I have a good slide up here that will help people understand how this works. And so, and, and the, the, the key to this is that, you know, you got to get a Bitcoin wallet. And you can get those online. That's what I did. You get an online wallet, you know, their wallet. There's a number of them out there that you can get. And then uh, once you get that wallet, then you can get a um, uh, work out a transaction. Like I think I didn't. I, you, we did one right we on did right, right here, here. So, and so I had just opened that wallet. Opened the wallet, me, and I transferred some Bitcoin that's right. or a portion of a Bitcoin to you. That's right. Which was done, and, and it's still up four hundred percent. I just want to tell. So tell it's up four hundred percent. That was way right. after Christmas. It was in after after the the, yeah. the crash after Christmas. Um, so then um, I fill in the amount. I send it. Um, so that you, there's all the users are involved, and then the machines kick in, and the wallet signs the transaction. The transaction is propagated and validated through the network. The miners, this is an important part, the miners then authenticate that transaction. That transaction takes a period of time, usually less than 10 minutes, Okay. most of the time within seconds. Um, the, then the, here's the key. Once that miner, miner in a Bitcoin transaction authenticates that transaction and has been validated that that transaction is real, mm -hmm. like I had the money to give you, mm -hmm. you had the wherewithal to accept it. Once that happens, 12 and a half new Bitcoins get introduced into the network. Oh, I now, didn't know it was that many. 12 and a half right now. So once we hit... Every transaction. Every transaction. That's a lot. That's a lot. And um, the, right now we're at 16 plus million Bitcoins in the in the system, in the network. Okay. The max can only be 21 million. Oh, I, so that's where the valuation and that's comes where the back valuation later. Is. After the curve drops off, they'll come, as they become rarer, Rare, they'll go yeah, up in but, value again. Well, but what happens is, is that every 210,000 blocks, the value, the, the reward gets cut in half. Oh. So now it goes to six and a quarter Bitcoins. Gotcha. Okay. So by the year 2040, I think they're saying something like that, the maximum number of Bitcoins that can go into this market will be hit. So it's not like the government. They can't print any more money. No, oh, that's right. They can't. But then what happens, what's going to happen with the way the mining works? So this is the discussion. It's like, mm. how will mining work when they can't introduce any more Bitcoins into the... Yeah, they won't want to mine it. Or it'll be a transaction fee or a percentage. Mm. It's, it's how or things work. Well, they just fork it into another. Or they could do a fork. They can do all kinds. There's you all, you'll just buy like Ethereum with there, it. Yeah, there's you trade all. Your, well, your, trade your Bitcoin free cash will happen or, or some other thing will spin off from it. Yeah. But, um, I got you. But, it's, but you, you got it. So that's, mm -hmm. that's, good. that's an interesting um, thing to look forward down yeah, the road. Yeah, and the, mining, see, the miners will make sure that happens. How old will I be? I'll be 100 and... Your wallet, your Bitcoin wallet will be big. In 2040. I hope so. Unfortunately, I won't, Angus's be, I won't be around to Angus's take, will take be. much of it. Um, so anyway, if you just bring up that slide we had a second ago um, with the... Um, uh, so you look at the, the mining, what happened on that, the, get down the to the bottom, the, uh, the nodes verify the results, and then the transaction is propagated and the wallet signed, and we're at the end. So that's a very, very simple overview of how the process works. There's all kinds of cool things that happen from a security perspective in this whole cycle. So um, I talked about a digital wallet. I thought I'd throw up a slide with a couple of examples of digital wallets, but okay. I am not, uh, by no means am I endorsing these wallets. Any particular wallet? Any particular wallet, but people say, well, what's a wallet? You can look online and do your own homework. There's Uphold, Coinbase, Dice, Dash, Copay, Jax, Copay. Pay. Kraken has one. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of things that are okay. out there, but those are the, the digital wallets that who you was can the, use. We had a guy on the show that, was, that built a one. Uh, that was the guy that was on the show that built the digital wallet for um, point of sale transactions. Right, specifically yeah, for yeah, POS. Yeah, so that right. so you could use your Bitcoin um, uh, wallet for a, to purchase McDonald's or whatever at the point of sale. At the point of sale. That's awesome. And he's selling that around the country now. Yeah, amazing. So kind of a kind of a, an amazing thing. So um, so now I'm going to quickly jump into um, man, this is fast. <laughs> Hey, People, is it, if you're not following this, I totally understand. Are they still playing, but are they still, can you still uh, 
uh, win and gamble and play for Bitcoin in, ga in the gaming industry? Because well, that's where bet. this came from. You so bet. is Bitcoin still alive in that space? Well, in, or the, gambling, it, in the gambling space and uh, in, in the slide deck. And that well, I mean, like the like the 3D gamers, you know those guys. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. The 3D okay. gamers are in there. You can build. Um, have you heard of Crypto Kitties? No, I have not. So Crypto Kitties is a. Um, they're, they're, right now, they're about 12 million dollars has been spent in Crypto Kitties. Crypto Kitties are in, in using Bitcoin or crypto okay. or using um, cryptocurrencies. You can go online, sign on, and open up a Crypto Kitties account, and then you can make your own kitties, your own little kitty cats. Kittens. Kittens. Okay, your and own, then you trade them? Or and then you, you trade them, them or you or? sell them. So, remember people at Beanie Babies? Yeah. Oh. Pogs? Yeah, yeah, okay, so, so it's a collector now, thing. So, so now you can, there's crypto kitties where you can go in there and use your cryptocurrency to... to Make a kitty. To, to buy two unique kitties to create your own unique kitty. Or many of them. They don't have dogs, do they? Don't tell my wife. Oh, they'll start one. They'll start one. Crypto, anyway, crypto puppy. But there, I, I was looking. There was one guy. I, I do not have a crypto kitties account. But there was one guy. <laughs> there's one guy has one of his kitties that's for sale for two hundred thirty-five bucks. In cryptocurrency. In cryptocurrency. So and and then there's people up there. Was it? Is with, it look? Is it nice or something? Well, this one's kind of cool because it's it's, it's, it's a I graphic. See. So you could actually end up you end up owning this well, graphic. Well, it's rare. There's only one of it. There'll yeah, be it's only, rare, right? There'll so. be only one graphic of this type, and ah. you you could make that graphic your logo within your company yeah. or whatever, and you there will never be another one like it. Yeah. So th you think about digital artistry. Like digital artistry and, and what's happening with virtual, all that. Virtual value to a. Yeah piece of art that's digital. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, 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 I hadn't even, so, so, this isn't going fast again, for me. Let's just go. So, I'm again, an security guy, Google yeah. it on Bing or Bing it on Google. You can go uh, Bitcoin gambling. You can go Bitcoin gaming. You can go cryptocurrency gambling, cryptocurrency gaming. Um, there's, there's one where you actually, you, you can um, uh, become a real estate uh, baron and uh, buy and sell real estate, but it's um, electronic real estate. Huh. And then, and then you mean it's virtual. It it's don't, virtual it, real estate, and you are you are in there with all the others, and you buy floors in a building, you build a building, you rent the floor out to somebody. Also it's, a, it's game, it's gamification, but they're also using cryptocurrency Currency to fund what's going on in there, and it's teaching them about real estate. Wow, wow, that's interesting. Whether it be commercial real estate, so there's a teaching factor in there. So if you want to become like a Donald Trump in the virtual world. You can, you can, and you're competing with your fellow yeah. man and woman to be the head of the, the whole thing. That's crazy. It's crazy. There's a lot going on in, in cryptocurrency There is just a ton. And, Bitcoin. and I haven't even gotten into, so we've actually burned through the whole thing. Yeah, we need, we need weeks We, we of need weeks and weeks and weeks. I do want to point out that um, if you go down to Sherakia at the Alma Shopping Center, I don't know if it's still there, but a, a month or so ago, there was a Bitcoin ATM machine at Cherokee and Alamoana, where nice. you could actually go and buy Bitcoin. Is that one of yours? No, not one of mine. <laughs> I didn't want to get into the, that with the with the. There you uh, go, right there. The state. Yeah, so there it is. Bitcoin ATMs at um, Cherokee. That's awesome. So down there in the... in the. And um, I can take it, I can go from my my Coinbase purse into that? Yeah, once you, right get, your, you, know, once you get your digital wallet, yeah. you put cash into that machine, yeah, and, transfer and it will send you... Oh, you can you go the other way? No. Oh, I see. You're buying Bitcoin. I see. Buying so, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. So that's what fair enough. Happened. At least that's well, the last time I checked, things change. You know those those curves and what's happening in there. Anyway, um, we never got through the whole thing. I knew we wouldn't get through the well, whole yeah, thing. That'll well, last next, a few next more Next time we'll come back and we'll talk about mining and uh, uh, master nodes and how that works within okay. this field because uh, continually changing. So, uh, and I'm not telling you to invest in cryptocurrency at all. Am I invested? Yes. Am I making money? No. So I'm not telling you to get into that space, but if you want to have fun, <laughs> it ain't bad. Am I making money? No. Nice. I now own 3% of a Bitcoin mining operation. Nice. Yeah. So we'll see how well that does. Anyway, Angus thanks. Angus is mining. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should start that. Anyway, thanks again, everybody, for watching us here on Hibachi Talk. Andrew, the security guy, who has a new show coming up. Uh, we'll be doing um, Security um, Matters. Matters. With a Z. That's right. Security Starting, Matters. Or Z if you're in Scotland. It'll be starting on the 20th. 20th 10, of 10 April. 10 o'clock on Fridays. 10 o'clock on Fridays, a.m. Um, another spinoff of Hibachi Another spinoff of Hibachi hey, What can I say? Thank Cre you. Create opportunities. Anyway, thanks a lot, gangs, gangs, gang, for watching us. And like we say at the end of every show, do you remember this? Oh, yeah. How, How are you, you doing? doing?